Okay, here's a couple of things that are useful. These are two pages of foods <laughs> that both like, Elio likes and Aurora likes. Um, so one by one, I'm gonna put, their main meal is gonna be this cheese broccoli casserole. It's here and it'll, it'll be in the oven when you guys arrive. Um, for milk, uh, Elio's goes in this body, bottle right here. Not right now, Laura. Um, he likes both cow milk and almond milk. Aurora only likes cow milk. Hers is in a cup. Um, sliced cheese would be this guy. They both like sliced cheese. Cucumbers and tomatoes and dip. We've got sliced cucumbers here. Tomatoes are in this bag. And here is the dip. Um, Elio loves to dip, but he will also start playing with it and cover himself. So it's better to like hold it and let him dip and then take the dip back away. Um, oh, more. Okay. Aurora likes these brownies. They're hidden. These are the brownies. Uh, Elio doesn't really like them. He just rips them into pieces. Um, Elio likes macadamia nuts, which are here. Laura doesn't care for those right now. Um, for fruit, fruit is down here. Um, we got apples, and Elio really doesn't like apples. Sometimes he'll ask for a slice and then barely eat it and whatever. Um, Aurora likes apples. They both like kiwi here. I forgot to put this on the list. These are some peaches that are starting to get a little wrinkly, but it should be safe to eat, but are um, fine to eat. Um, I, I'm gonna say skip the oranges here. Elio makes a super, super mess, and he actually only chews on it and then hands it back to you. It's, you know. And um, Aurora said it's getting stringy and caught in her teeth, so let's just skip those today. We also have bananas. Um, next would be frozen mango, strawberries, and blueberries. These are in the freezer at the second to bottom level. We've got the mangoes, blueberries, and strawberries. Strawberries and mangoes, um, you'll want to, you'll need to cut, and the blueberries are small enough. Um, okay, both like chips and salsa. I forgot to put the chips down here, so I'll do that in a second. I'm gonna put the chips down there. Salsa is where? Okay, here's the salsa. I'll put it closer. It's not a whole lot of it, but that's the only one. There's another one up here. Don't give that to the kids, it's too spicy. So this one, Elio loves to dip, but same applies to make a mess. Um, when they drink water, Aurora prefers this jug, which I'll be filling up in a second. Elio will sometimes ask for that, and that's okay as long as you're like holding it, because he's been known to like chuck a mason jar and it shatters. This is Elio's water bottle, and he's happy with that. All right, these are the chips. They're now here. They were unfortunately left in the car for several days open, so they might be terribly stale, but that's what we got today. Okay, next on the list are activities. All right, one, watch a movie. Could be Pocahontas, Daniel Tiger, or Coco Melon on YouTube. Um, the best way to use things, where is the one? Hmm. All right, this is the remote you want. This is the Roku. doesn't have to be opened. Um, and this has a voice command one, so you can just say Daniel Tiger or Pocahontas or whatever. Uh, Coco Melon, sometimes you have to go to YouTube manually. I'm not sure, but I'll leave that there. Um, coloring. So here's the coloring. You've seen this. Aurora's got paper. I'll get some extra paper. Um, things to color. Elio is allowed to color, but only with markers. In here are also um, crayons and um, pencils and stuff. And he's only allowed to have the markers because they're extremely washable. And he goes straight for the walls and the cabinets and the fabrics. And actually, so he's in Brian's lap right now, but really, he's only allowed to do it in the chair. And I keep repeating, uh-uh, on the paper, even though it's okay if he gets it on this stuff, it wipes right back off and stuff. But I'm just trying to teach him, like, use things on the paper so that one day he can use less washable things. Um, all 
That's right. Next is books. We've got books and books. All right, blocks. So we're not going to get out the Legos today because LEO, but block options are brain flakes, Picasso tiles, not dinosaurs. Um, this is the mega box. The, the label is underneath it. Uh, the other one they both like is Duplos, and that is up in the master bedroom. So I only get it if she actually picks that. And that's like, these are a bunch of things, and these are, you're probably going to do just a, a small sampling of these. Elio likes this box, electronic baby toys. Uh, Ride along toys for Elio are right here. We've got two fire truck things and some like, other fire truck and a what's that? recycling truck. Um, Play-Doh and babies. So this is the Play-Doh box. Babies is underneath it. So that's like dolls and like accessories and things for dolls and clothes for dressing them. Um, next one is dinosaurs and superheroes with hideouts. So dinosaurs is here. Superheroes and then here's two hideouts. So with this trash can, this is the trash and this is the recycling. And there's actually a label there to remind. Um, but this is not mm -hmm. for the main trash. The main trash and recycling need to come out here, like especially the diapers. Because Elio will go through that trash and recycling all the time and pull stuff out. So anything that actually has food on it, that is gross, that is yucky, goes here. And big things there, only like small scraps of paper should go on inside. And on, on the topic of food, you guys are have free to eat anything you see. Um, you can have some of that casserole. There should be plenty. And more, I think everything in the house is gluten-free except for um, this bread. Oh, no, this is not. Okay, not everything, but a lot. A lot is, most of it is gluten-free. Oh, yeah, there's frozen pizzas. Maybe don't eat those. Those are... We, um, Aurora has a bunch of cavities and we are collaborating, she and I, on a diet free of grains and sugar. Uh, those brownies have another sweetener instead of sugar and don't have grains. So um, that's what we're doing uh, to help her teeth heal. While they're playing, if Aurora gets frustrated because Elio's undoing things, encourage her to move her portion in here with one of you guys um, and just know that when Elio is on the outside and Aurora and an adult are on the inside he sometimes will get pretty upset about being left out so you might have to plan on one in one out this bathroom sink is not usable right now it, it was like super clogged and I took it apart to unclog it and I did but then I created a leak down here so um, yeah don't run the water um, toilet's fine. Toilet paper. Wipes. Um, I should put more wipes there. And uh, so, yeah, you got to wash your hands in the sink when you want to. So, Elio, you know, um, isn't saying a lot of intelligible words, but he is trying to communicate a lot. And there's going to be a lot of grunts and uh, frustration sounds. But if you come down to his level, you drop, you know, down like this and you get eye to eye and you say what do you need what do you want he'll start trying to point and really getting you to understand and if you keep guessing he will eventually be like yeah yeah and uh, go, so it's go, good ah, da, ah, ah. and then you go you want this and you're like ah ah and you go this and you go ah yeah <laughs> and so i go ahead and say what it is even if he's not going to be able to have it like if he goes over here and wants to go upstairs and I'm not going to do that right now and he's ah, 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 and he'll start you know, yanking and screaming and, and I'll say, you want to go upstairs? Ah, and I'll say, no, no upstairs. And uh, at least he knows he's understood. That's important, even if he's going to get a no. Um, he'll point. You can also hold up two things. You can hold up like macadamia nuts and cheese and put them kind of Put a distance between your hands and he will, and I said, which one do you want? Nuts or cheese? And he'll point to one. Um, so he can choose. You can ask him if he's all done when he starts to play with his food and put that away. 
ask him if he wants more. Um, what was I going to say? One word he says is stuck. He'll, you know, he's got all these things to ride through on the room on, and they'll get stuck on things, and he'll, it's more of like a suck. <laughs> so, um, that's, uh, you can be like, stuck? Yes. Um, this, if he's starting to get fussy or anything, I take the whole table and I move it out here and I turn the TV so it's out. And so he ends up right here facing the TV. That's a good way to kind of contain him, um, while distracting him. So like something like Coco Melon on YouTube would be an instant... <laughs> freeze and stare at it and you know put him in the chair he's already in the chair so if if uh if he's getting like really having a meltdown or something i don't know he it's hard to get him in the chair when he's having a meltdown he's pretty unhappy about that but you know, that's just something i do sometimes oh also we're not going to a movie we're just gonna go talk with um jeff and kelsey and we're about 16 minutes away so if there's any emergency, you can call us and we can just drop and run. So, and you can also text or ask questions at any time. You don't have to think about interrupting a movie at, at all.